Hey guys, Mike is back with another video. I did this so many previous videos and all my videos like amplifiers, speakers, uh, sound system, on the budget electronics. And um, a lot of questions on the comment I read, I always read the comment, right? What's the difference between the amplifiers, right? There's a lot of different amplifiers. You can have start from the digital amplifiers, tube amplifiers, class A amplifiers, class B amplifiers, and the class AB amplifiers right now, and or, you know, the AV receivers. What's the difference between the receivers and the amplifiers? Today, let's answer that question, right? So now, uh, the amplifiers, all the amplifiers, you're going to give a small signal, amplifies, and gives the bigger signal output. That's amplifiers, amplification of the low signal, right? So now, uh, the most amplifiers today's days is going to be digital amplifier, um, the tube amplifiers, the, the beginning of the area amplifiers, like very not efficient amplifiers. They die out 100 years ago uh, when the digital transistors came out. So they, they replaced all these, uh, the lights, the tubes, and they gone now it's coming back so i did a bunch of tube ampl amplifiers the videos and it's going to come a lot more amplifiers to the channel right so now the receiver with the amplifiers let's take the digital amplifiers with the receiver receiver also exactly the same thing with the digital amplifiers usually amplifiers you have a signal in for example the signal in uh energy in for example voltage in or the power in and on the back you have you know a bigger signal out that's it I'm gonna explain like a simple, simple, like stupid uh, the version, right? So now on the other hand, receivers, exactly same thing. The signals, the powers in, powers out. But in the receivers, you the now, uh, the, the premium days receivers, right? Have a lot of things inside the built-in. All the receivers are mostly time, 90% of the receivers. If, if you don't specifically buy AB receivers or some, some, some kind of receivers, 90 or 90, 95 receivers, the digital amplifiers. Reason why the receivers are sounds really good because they have DSP built in inside. So receivers to usually, uh, usually all the amplifiers gonna be left and right channel or the four channel, right? The car audios, you have five channels that separates uh, subwoofer output. If you have this kind of stuff in the home audio, that's gonna be automatically receiver. Receiver, it means the multiple signal you can receive it. All the receivers, they have a giant panel on the back. They're usually a lot bigger. I'm gonna show you, this is the receiver, the Denon, right? And you have a lot of inputs on the back. So you have HDMI inputs, uh, the bunch of RCA inputs in the receiver that receives all the combination of the signals and it's going to be spread between the exits. So some receivers you have a two, like seven HDMI inputs like mine and the two HDMI outputs for the two different uh, TV. And with the remote control, you can just uh, separate the signals. One TV shows the different stuff, another TV shows the different stuff. And you have a seven channel, 7.2 channel on my receiver now. You can install the two subwoofers and the seven different speakers. That's a receiver. Inside the receiver, the amplifiers, like all the amplifiers, but the separation of the power is gonna be wider range. On the receiver, you have multiple devices you can connect. For example, one is gonna be Blu-ray, the two is gonna be CD, the built-in receiver, the, the Bluetooth, the receiver, you can uh, share it through the Bluetooth, and all the seven inputs you can do with your PlayStation, everything. Anything you connect to the receiver, you can tune which device you're gonna be out, cast so you switch for example tv it's gonna take the tv signal in and it amplifies the sound to the speaker 7.2 channel right so now you have a playstation you're gonna switch the receiver to the playstation or you just inputs right you can switch to the input switch it so automatically takes from that audio amplifies to the speakers also the projects the audio uh, uh the projects the screen for tv or your second output you can do the projection right you have a projector you can uh cast through the projector all right so this is amplifier and this is also an amplifier this is the digital amplifier a lot smaller much much more power for the speakers rock and roll the speakers a lot bigger premium quality a lot heavier consumes a lot of electricity right yeah, spend a lot of burns, generates a lot of heat. Class A amplifier. After all the crap, this one has a built-in preamp. This one has a built-in preamp. This one is a receiver. So as you can see, you can turn on the receiver. As soon as you turn on, you have the power here. 7.2 channels, all right? Seven speakers you can connect. And the two subwoofers you can connect. 7.2 channel. 185 watt per channel is gonna output. This one's gonna rock and roll. And as you can see, you can switch here 
video mode, game mode, virtual, all the sounds is gonna change dramatically. Five multiple channel, all the, you can do rock arena. This is a built-in uh, DSP inside, right? Now you're gonna switch to the phono, cable, DVD, whatever you have, Blu-ray game, auxiliary input, CDs, tuners, the radio. I have a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, so you, you can go through it. So high-res audio, it's gonna be played. So the receiver is gonna have usually a lot of stuff in it, in the one unit. That's why they're expensive, but you can spend a lot more money than the receivers and you can buy the amplifiers. Back to the digital amplifiers. Of course, now the digital amplifiers is getting also uh, smaller. As you can see, you have a multiple inputs, uh, USB DAC, you can TRS input, optic input, and the two channel out for the two speakers. But you don't have any other stuff on the, this kind of amplifiers the receiver has. In the other hand, this one, puts up only 2.5 watts not 185 watts per channel for seven channel this one is only two channel and each channel is going to give you 2.5 watt output the good for running the small speakers like this i'm connecting that's why i have a mass here so another huge thing on the receivers the good receivers right you have a built-in dsp when you're running the speakers like this high quality high resonant or audio like this the dsp reads the signal so you have a microphone on the receivers it will send the signal and it will calculate what kind of speakers you're running at the each channel and adjust that for the perfectly for that speaker so sound quality when you run the dsp to readjust everything you're gonna be amazed how great these sound the speakers then just a connection just a pure connection amplifier the audio right so i highly suggest if you're a receiver run your sound calibration uh this one is the uh, the microphone so how are you gonna do it in the receiver? i have to cover a lot of stuff so the microphone you're gonna bring each seat where are you gonna sit right here it's gonna send the signal for the speakers you're gonna put the microphone here you're gonna put the microphone there and it's gonna read the how the distance it's from that speakers so it's, it's, it's gonna measure the distance each speaker and the, the timing for the your ears right so when you play the music the perfectly your speaker it's going to be adjusted for your room for the echo everything's like a what, what is what kind of uh, sofa you have adjust a lot of stuff a lot of details going to be adjusted and when you play or when you watch the movies it's going to be sound all over the place like you're running like the, the bullets is going to go through that's the power of the good receiver so if you want to compare the sound quality with the amplifier and the, the good receiver 10 out of 10 I choose the receiver, right? Nowadays, the receivers that sound so good, forget about the, those, you know, I am getting old too, but the old people, they, they sit because they have money, they put some kind of, you know, the brand name audios, and they will say, this is the sounds better. When you compare for the half price or the quarter price, you can buy a lot of good stuff, and it sounds a lot better than that, but it's, if somebody says this one sounds better, it doesn't mean that sounds better. Depending on your room, your calibration, what kind of speakers you run, all of the stuff. So you have to choose your stuff. You have to do a lot of research, right? So yeah, the receivers are the powerful machine. is a futuristic machine compared to any amplifiers. You cannot get from any amp expensive amplifiers, no matter how you're gonna tune it, you cannot get what the receiver is gonna give you for the half quarter price. For example, if you spend like $1,200, that receiver is going to beat any amplifiers in the in the market, the overpriced amplifiers so for $50,000. Right? So amplifiers, simply small signal in, power in, bigger signal out. That's it. It's going to spread for the speakers. For example, four channel, two channel, uh, six channel amplifiers. That's it. Amplifiers, signal in, signal out. Receivers, signal in, all the signals and the other sources, devices, or everything's in, and the video out, and the, all the speakers signals out. That has the difference between the receiver and the amplifiers. That's it, simple and stupid, right? Comment below what kind of uh, the questions you have. I will uh, create the short videos like this. And if you like, if you wanna support my microscopic channel, smash the like button and subscribe. So next video, I'm gonna show you all my setup, uh, home audio, car audio, the motorcycle audio, all the audios and speakers, all that stuff. I'm out, I'll see you in the next video.